Hi everybody, welcome to Graduate Shop again. Yeah, I'm back. And no, I haven't had a trim yet. Um, I've been sick with the flu again. This is the fucking fourth time, fourth time I've had it. Screws the swearing. I'm really clear, ticked off with it. That I've done no work out here at all. I have finished the. Uh, 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 Closed my table so far. I might show you a quick look at it in a minute. Um, when I turn around, you'll be able to see it in the, on the end of the table. It's back on the ground. I might move it out so you can have a look at it. And I'm doing the solar panels for the back of my truck. I've decided. I have decided not to put them in the window. I'll show you what I've decided. Right. Now, everyone knows that I made these brackets. Oh, they haven't been, you just haven't seen the video yet. So, you can see at the back of the table, the welding table, the powder coating oven. It sits out there really good. So, everyone knows I made these brackets to fit my windows. They go like this in the window. And the solar panel sits in here. But I have to drill holes in my plastic. And I don't want to do that. Because those plastics are very probably rare and hard to get in beer. So, that's gone out the window. I'm going to do like I had before. Put them on a plug, it goes into another plug that's in the back behind the seat. And I can plug them both in. <coughs> and I get 20 amps out of them. So that's 40 amp, 40 volts out of both panels. I've got them all covered up. I've got the plug ready to go on. These are long video, otherwise it'd be an hour or two. Now, what I'll do is I'll drill these out. I'll test them. I've tested both one panel. I'm going to test this one. The other one's been tested. I put this on. This is a 10 amp plug, which the solar panels are only 10 amps. Put the red in here. Screw it in. Put the black in the other side. Screw it in. Yeah, I've got the shakes, everybody. Kids that don't listen to you, you try and help them, but they don't want to listen. I'm too old, and I wouldn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I get these days. one here is finished now. I can plug this into my front battery. In, I've got a charging unit that can go into the car in the front seat. Now, I've got this sitting here. It's got no amperage, no voltage at the moment. I've got it set on um, voltage. Now, Red goes to the top and black goes to the side. I'm not getting registered here. I'm shaking too much. 11.39 volts out of the 
Lights in the fucking workshop. No sunlight, just off the lights in the workshop. 11.9, 11.39 volts. That's plenty good enough. Now I'll show you the other one. We put it on the earth and on the power. This one's a little bit less because this one's getting a little bit less light. 10.91. That's good. Out of the out of the shed voltage. That's good. 10.94, 10.93. Now, I wonder if I can adjust it so it's the same as the other one. It's in the same distance. The earth, power, 11.2. It went to 11.1. The other one is what? Eleven point four four. Eleven point four five. That's not bad. When they get out in the sun, they go both go to twenty anyway. But that's not bad. That's good voltage. Now we we'll turn it over on the amps and see how many amps it is. We go down to. 20k, 20 volts. What can say? It says answers UAMA. I don't know what that is. I'm not up to all this crap. Well, I've got to drill two holes and make the break bracket for the um, switch that goes into the truck. I'll go and get it in a sec. But this is a finish off video of these. These are done. I made the two power wires. The power wire for the battery. The air fire for the battery. <laughs> I've got a bit of cable cover over and left over to put around these when I get them in. And that'll be that. Now, I want to show you the powder coat that I've got an idea to do a thing so I can see if I can buy a powder coat of the plasma table cutter that'll fit on my table. Or get a company to make me one to fit on my table. Or they can donate me one. around. There's the table. Goes on the floor. The wheels, everything. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit. A bit more. All right. Now this is what I'm going to do. Show you on the edge. tubing around the outside and weld it on underneath and around the top. And that gives 100 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil of sit down type space where the plasma cover can be made to fit 
down here and the sheet sits on the outside on the inside of this <coughs> and I think I've got any sheets inside big enough small enough to fit in here tell me what you think so an angle iron and weld the two pieces together or just plain uh, square box tubing to make it fit and we'll see what happens it's perfect I'll bring the camera over so you can have a look I'll take the camera out of the I made it fit. All the way, perfect. Along here, it fits. Perfect. And that was one go. Got the toes in it. I've still got to make the water trough that goes underneath here. It sits underneath here. So I'm going to make that. <coughs> so there's the solar panels, all made up. And that's all I'm doing today because it's too bloody hot. It's, uh, oh shit, 30 odd degrees I suppose. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to sign off everybody. Um, if you think of a plasma table, if you think I should make that so it's free on its own and I can move it around the shop, move it out <coughs> and fill it up with water, set it up and then cut what I need, let me know if that's a good idea. And to all you new subscribers, thanks for hanging around. Let me know what you like and what you don't like and we'll be going on, I'm still going, I said I've got a, we've had a run of bad luck um, with uh, the washing machine we bought, we had to buy a new washing machine, I said guess where it's made fellas, um, I'll tell you made the USA <laughs> yeah I got a shock when I see it was made in the US normally buy Chinese stuff here everyone sells it but I've never seen anything made in the US except you buy it like I buy a lot of stuff over in the US parts from my car uh, parts from my motors hot rod motor I got building I said I'll buy all the parts over here because it's a heap cheaper and I don't know so much anymore. Well, here the freight from here to, say, um, we'll give an example. This is not saying nothing bad about the freight, but uh, the freight from the States to here, from this oh, I bought a hat from Diesel Creek, there in the US or wherever it is, cost me $95 freight. 95 bucks for the whole lot, sorry, and 70, 70, 70 odd dollars as that was freight. Of course, a sticker pack was 25 bucks and I paid 97 dollars for the whole lot, which I thought was a bit steep. Where here, I can post anywhere in the world, it costs me 17 dollars, doesn't matter where. It costs 17 dollars for the package. If I send a shirt, hat, stick a kit, 17 bucks. I can't see why it's so dear, dear over there and cheap here. 17 bucks, everyone can afford 17 bucks. I, if I put a shirt in and a hat and a set of stickers, there's $250 value in there straight away. But I don't, I sell the 
I haven't sold any sack. I'm just as only an example. A shirt here has cost me sixty-five dollars for me to get make make some money on it to keep on making them. Anyhow, I'm going to sign off with this. I got to go and have some lunch and rest down for a while. And then I'll put all these panels back in their boxes. I'll plug it in and check test. Once I put the plug in, I'll make the last bit another video. 15 minutes. Most of my videos are an hour long. This one will be a short one. So here we go. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I did. If you got a comment, leave a comment. And best of luck. And yes, I'm still making videos. And I will not stop. I still haven't had any luck with getting a getting some money to get a shop yet. But It'll work out in the end. <laughs> I'm always on the impression. Um, but what it is, as, you know, the old expression, put it in one hand and see which one, which, put it in both hands and see which one fills up first. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Put it in one hand. Yeah, which one fills up first. Yeah, not real good. I'm uh, trying my best. I'm not going to fail. I finally found someone who will send me my powder coat and oven burners for $71 freight from Canada. $71 freight from Canada with all the starter and everything the temperature gauge, the te thermostat and everything I need to put them in my powder coat and up. I need three 900, and 900 long by four inches wide and they will heat it up to 700, 800 degrees. I think they said. Anyhow, I've got to get off this. It'll be an hour long. So, like, subscribe and I've still got the flu, I'm still getting over it. It's got a bit of a head cold now. <coughs> so I hope to be better the next video. By the end of this video, by the next one I make, will be me putting the solar panels in and plugging them into the system and getting them working. Yeah, well, it's boiling hot outside today and I'm not going out and working in the heat. It's too bad, too, too hot for me. But if I've got to do it, I'll do it one day. I mainly work out here in the after, in the mornings before it gets too hot. Because there's no insulation, as you can see, up on the roof. Nothing, mate. Not a thing. Nada. <laughs> Anyhow, I will see you all best. And to Barry, I will catch up Barry on my on my visit one day. I've been having to sleep a lot because it's just too hot for me to go out. I went out, I end up sick. So, and to Classic Cars Creation, oh well, not Classic Car, to uh, Simone. Good luck with that guard. Um, it's going to take a bit, I'll get, you'll get it done. I said I'd just buy, cut it off and buy a quarter for it bottom for it and put it in but if you haven't got the money you're gonna have to make it which is not hard to do if you if you follow the instructions how to make stuff look it up on YouTube would be about the best way and good luck I will follow along I said I don't leave comments much anymore because I can't read or write too well and the comments get taken the wrong way sometimes so I just leave a thumbs up. I give you a thumbs up every video I watch. Gets a thumbs up, doesn't matter what. And you go and have a look on you on Facebook on my account under Greek Lego. You can go and have a look at Facebook, and you'll find me. Everything I watch goes on Facebook as a share with everybody. 
I don't even put my own stuff up on Facebook. So, anyhow, got to go. Wish you all the best. I will see you on the next video. Take care. And hasta la vista. Bye. Bye.